Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, I present you a very interesting human prose like a role play model called as Llama 3 8 billion Celeste version 1. We are going to install it locally and then we will play around with it as per a role play. This model was trained on Llama 3 8 billion instruct at 8000 context length using Reddit's writing prompts opus 15k instruct and c2 logs cleaned however this version was trained on a longer sequence of data and longer stories chosen from wp and dwp which has increased coherency in multi-turn and longer context this is a role play model any instruction following capabilities it is going to do but if you will try to use it outside a role play context then it might not perform as well so if your purpose is a role play of any sort whether it is nsfw which is not safe for work or sfw which is safe for work this is going to be amazing and sublime but if you want to use it for general purpose language understanding math coding it might not work if this is your first time using the role play model then the best way of using it is to not to use any system prompt and then stick to as much uh, finely written prompt as possible. Also, don't mess with a lot of settings in this one. Uh, by settings, I mean the hyperparameters and all that stuff. So just keep it simple and straight and it should work. Also, um, if you use Silly Tavern, which I have done a lot of videos on when it comes to role play models and character cards, even in silly tavern don't try to use too many settings just keep whatever comes out of the box and also this model is quite assertive so for example if you want to steer it into a specific direction you have to make sure that your prompt is right okay so i think that's enough theory let's go and try to get it installed before i show you the installation let me give a huge shout out to our good friends at mass compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you're looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to it in video description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on range of gpus let me show you what sort of system i'm using let me actually show you my phone now uh, my ubuntu version first so this is ubuntu i'm using and my gpu card is this nvidia rtx a 6048 gpu of vram and i'm going to install the full model for this video let me clear the screen first up let me first create a conda environment so i'm just calling it celeste and then i will launch a jupyter notebook in it and then we will install it there and we will also try to create a graphical user interface on top of it so you see that our Honda environment is created let's install some of the prerequisites here including torch transformers accelerate and few others let's wait for it to finish this is going to take a couple of minutes all the prerequisites are done let's now create our Jupyter Notebook, so I'm installing it and then it is going to launch it in our browser. Let's wait for it to launch. So the Jupyter Notebook is launched. Let's import the libraries which we have just installed, which includes Gradio, Torch, Transformers and setting. Let me run it. And that is done. You can ignore this warning for now. Next up, let's download our tokenizer and the model, which is Celeste V1. And the model has started downloading and then when it's downloaded we are going to put it on our CUDA device which is the GPU we are using. Let's wait for it to get finished. There are four tensors of it. Okay, so the model is loaded now. Next up, let's define an interface. So in this interface, this is a Gradio one. We are just defining a class for uh, start stop tokens. And then we are defining this simple predict function, which is simply launching the model and then setting some parameters. Plus it is maintaining the history of the chat messages. And then towards the end, we are creating this Gradio chat interface. And this is a standard 
library from hugging face so you see as soon as i have run it it has created this gradio chat interface you can either use it in this notebook or you can click on this link and it is going to open this uh, chatbot here and you can chat with your celeste a model so i have started the chatting that hello how are you today i am doing well thank you so you can just do some sort of a role play here okay so in this role play i am asking the model to be chabi who is a wise and kind wife of kublai khan the mongol emperor a foreign traveler marco polo has been invited to the imperial palace and you have heard of his vast knowledge and experience from his travels you are curious to learn from his from him and seek his advice on matters of state and diplomacy starting plot marco polo has just arrived at the palace and you have granted him an audience as he enters you notice his exotic clothing and the curious glances of your attendants you welcome him warmly and begin the conversation let's see there you go so let's wait for it to finish okay so now see what is happening here that not only it is doing role play it has taken both sides so you see i'm truly honored to meet you your excellency i have heard much about your wisdom and then this is where chabi starts that we have heard many stories about you marco polo and then it's a dialogue which is happening here and then you can carry it on maybe you could just say honorable chabi wife of the this and then uh, so i'm just asking it that you know marco polo has traveled here that marco polo has asked a question that what wisdom or strategies do you employ to ensure the stability and prosperity of the empire there you go so and so would you honor me with your wisdom there you go so you see it very very nicely and fluidly respond to the role and the prose is just like human amazing stuff and here is a funny thing so you see marco polo is trying to be uh, quite obsequious he is saying i believe that is what i have seen in my travels when the mongols have ruled they have allowed much freedom and tolerance was the local custom and she is saying the word tolerance is not one i am familiar with but if it by you mean granting freedom to people to live their lives then yes and let's tease the model but your husband is also a monster and a killer let's see if he is just she throws it out there you go so you see the point of it is that um, you can do role play however you like and then you can also just generate a dialogue from it and then uh, one of the key feature of this model is that it generates a human like prose which i really really like it is not very you know ornamental but something like humans are talking with each other and you can see it from the dialogues so amazing stuff uh of course i mean we don't have that much time to do a longer role play but you can play around with it let me know your thoughts i will drop the link to this model card in video description and of course it is for nsfw sfw sfw uh, your choice if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching